with just a little bit of python knowledge you can build an image editor similar to this don't worry i will show how each of these components were made and how they function behind the scenes so please watch this entire video since you will also receive the project source code hey guys this is nikita from coding buddy welcome back to our channel in this video i will explain the tkinter concepts that were used to build a python based image editor project for this project we have used pillow library for image editing and the tkinter package for developing the user interface the description box includes a link to github channel where you may download the project by the way you can also check out our html css and javascript projects by clicking the i button and please subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this video so without further ado let's get started when we execute code we can see gui application we created the gui window using tkinter package by assigning mains variable to tk object as you can see that mains is equal to tk we have set its dimensions like windows width and height as well as its background color which is gray it has title at the middle by default window title will be placed on left side here at this corner but i wanted it at the middle so in the code i use some white space to place it at the middle of window you can learn how to use tkinter for this check out some easy beginner friendly blog links given in the description box let's get back to our topic this is the default image but we can change it by using this option change image button first we created panel to place image on it as you can see in the code we have created this panel so that no matter whatever your image size is it will place in this area in this area the image will be placed for creating these buttons first create one variable assign it to the button widget specify on which window it will be placed and specify the text for that button we have done same for the button change image option we have created that button uh, specify the main window then text for that button its width and command using this command argument you can decide what will happen when user clicks this button specify function name and that function will be called each time when user clicks on this button in our case function is change image let's see what that function do in this function we have taken one global variable that is global image why is this variable global because here after whatever image editing we are going to do we will do it on this change image here we have used file dialog module we have used ask open file name function to show dialog that allows single file selection ask open file name function returns the file name that you have selected now selected file name will be in this variable image name from pill library we have imported image module open function from this module will open that file which we have passed as argument here this is the uh, change image function here you can see that open function and whatever the uh, file name which will present in image name variable will be open using this function now that selected image will display in panel using this uh, display image function we applied the same technique to all of the buttons as we did to the change image button we have specified the uh, button variable then on which screen we have to place that button then text for that button then command its background color active background color same for all the buttons now let's see the further demonstration of this project image can be rotated by clicking on this rotate button our this action will call this rotate function 
we have simply taken image object and use rotate function from pillow library for rotating image we have passed 90 degree angle as an argument and displayed that rotated image on screen we can flip image to get more insights out of it using this flip button i am flipping this image horizontally in left and right direction we have specified a uh, image flipping direction as left and right in this transpose function we can flip image in top and bottom direction using flip top bottom instead of this if we use this line we can flip the image in flip top to bottom in top to bottom direction this button can be used to resize the image as you can see the image has been resized by default the image size will be changed to 200 by 300 because we gave this argument 200 300 to the resize method now i will reset this cropping an image follows the same concept we use the crop function on an image object passing a tuple with the left upper right and lower pixels as a parameter you can of course crop an image using different pixels Let's use the blur effect. In this function, we have used the predefined filter blur from the image filter module to get a blur effect. Now let's use the other filters, emboss and edge effect, edge enhance. Emboss and edge enhancement effects were created in the same way as uh, we have created the blur effect. All these filters we have used are from the pillow library. Pillow library is an interesting way to do the image processing. You can apply filters, you can resize, rotate or crop image using it. If you want to know more about it, click on the i button and watch free video tutorial. Using this reset button, I will now reset everything to remove these effects. Behind the screen, it will simply uh, destroy the current window and will execute our project again. This is the logic for a uh, reset function. Now let's move to the sliders. For creating these sliders, we have used scale widget. Then specify on which window you want to place it. We want to place it on mains, that's why we have written mains here. Give label to the slider. This from and to option specify the minimum and maximum values of slider. By default, the slider is horizontal. To specify how the slider is arranged, we use the orient option, which can be horizontal or vertical. Normally, the user will only be able to change the scale in whole units, but we have set the resolution to 0.1 so that it will change smallest uh, increment of scale value. As you can see here. Here we have given the brightness callback function as a command so that every time the slider will be moved, it will call that brightness callback function. Every time the function is called, the scale value will be passed as an argument. We have set the scale default value to 1 using this set method. Same method we have used with all other sliders. Now let's observe the execution of this brightness callback function. This is the brightness callback function. Any scale value that the user has provided will be converted to the float value and then use as an enhancement factor. We have set the output image as global. Here we have used the brightness class from the image enhance module. Then we will get this enhancement object. On this object, we have used enhancement factor, which will increase or decrease the brightness according to the whatever scale value we have got. Then output image will get displayed in panel. Same logic is used for the contrast slider, sharpness slider and color slider that we have used here. Now let's see the working of these sliders. First change the brightness. Then sharpness and colors of this image. When the color value is less, you can see the image is black and white. 
we must click the save button in order to save the image. It will open this file dialog for saving file. For this, in the save function we have used as save as file function. It saves users file. Here we have set the by default extension for the image which is jpg. For creating this close button, we have created this function which will simply destroy the main window. So guys, building a basic image editor in Python was pretty simple and clear. For more tutorials like this, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment below.